Hey guys, got yet another horror story for you all here today. This time it's about what was probably the sickest looking man I've ever seen. He genuinely resembled Gollum from The Lord of the Rings in physical appearance and the way he fucking behaved. This was one of the most difficult patients I had to deal with as well, with a lot of undiagnosed mental illnesses which got in the way of any form of sinful interaction with this guy. Anyway, he was brought in because of some minor issue with his back which turned out to be his way of trying to scam welfare. Apparently he faked a fall and fractured a vertebrae which was his way of trying to get on some benefits or some shit. Shit. And we'll go into the background about him first. Like socially, he was isolated and he lived alone for 12 years. He literally hadn't been around people for 12 years apparently. He lived alone in some trailer somewhere and walked to the shops to purchase his groceries every day. And that was about the extent of all social contact that he had. He had no family member living nearby and involved in abusive relationships in the past with women actually using him for their own financial gain as he described it to me. Physically, this man did not look healthy at all and we quickly discovered why that was. Now he claimed for the last 12 years he'd been living off one chocolate muffin and two slices of toast a day, which is obviously nowhere near the recommended calorie intake per day for any adult male. This left him looking incredibly malnourished with hair that was literally falling out of his head. I watched him brush his hair one day and there was clumps of it just falling out. He had scabs all over his body that were not healing. He was fucked. Further onto the physical appearance of this fine young gentleman, he was approximately 4 foot 10 inches and he had major scoliosis which is basically a curvature in your spine and onto the mental background of this lovely young man now he had some major OCD and some very evident but undiagnosed other mental illnesses such as eating disorders and behavioural issues and possibly even bipolar if you'd ask me OCD was so bad if you spilled a single part of his breakfast like a single fucking grain of a rice bubble he would break down in tears and throw a tantrum demanding fresh food, which he usually got. Anyway, that's the introduction to this lovely young man out of the way. Now let's get on to how he made it into my nursing shit list. And it was quite simple, actually. For you see, this guy would not shut the fuck up. If anyone had gone to his room to do anything for him, no matter how simple or easy it was, he would try and turn it into a 30 minute conversation minimum. Even if we were just handing him his medications, he would begin to ask us our life stories and would not finish taking his medications until we had entertained him enough. And most of the time he was just talking about the most irrelevant shit to what we were trying to discuss with him. And a hospital is obviously the wrong place to do this. We are all under incredible fucking time constraints and do not usually have time for 30 minute conversations daily. No joke, I saw phlebotomists trapped in conversations with him for over an hour which they could not escape because of how friendly he comes across and how he trapped them. It honestly was kind of impressive in a way just how good he was at making people pass time and discussing just irrelevant shit with him. Eventually our nurses learnt just to walk away from him mid-conversation as we had much more important things to be attending to and he would take huge offence to this he was completely oblivious to the fact that he was in hospital and there were other patients besides him that needed our help there now I know what you're thinking hey this just sounds like a lonely guy trying to make some friends well that's where you're wrong because this man had some serious fucked up intentions as we soon discovered he turned out to be a sex offender and if you've seen any of my previous videos you know exactly where this is going now we uh, noticed a certain habit he was developing with the use of his wrist whenever any young male or female staff member would talk to this delightful individual and now whenever we had to change his bed linen we were noticing large amounts of semen being left on his top sheet unexplained. So yeah, it was a bit of a dirty dog there. Anyway, I should get into the story which actually inspired this whole video. One day, I was more or less babysitting him. The nurse had decided he needed constant supervision as he'd recently been on a food strike as nobody was talking to him anymore. And this resulted in me being stuck in a room with him for eight hours having to discuss our life stories together while he awkwardly jerked off in the corner. This was vaguely uncomfortable for the first hour but then I got used to it and his OCD kicked in. Now, I might not have mentioned it earlier but he'd like to have complete control of the conversation. So for example, say you want to discuss something else with him and you brought up a new topic of conversation he would completely ignore you, revert the conversation back to what he wanted to discuss, and would even talk over you if you were talking about something else. This is why so many of us got so sick of dealing with his shit. Now his hunger strike got to the point where his doctors decided to intervene. They requested a nurse and myself should weigh him to figure out how much weight he'd lost. He'd already come in incredibly malnourished and severely underweight, so losing more weight wasn't doing him any good. Anyway, the doctors requested a nurse and myself should go weigh him to figure out how much weight he'd lost. Two of us brought the scales into his rooms and calmly spoke to him about what we wanted from him, which turned into a conversation about some other shit and before we knew it it had been 30 minutes and we hadn't even weighed him yet he was still sitting in bed and then suddenly out of nowhere the two doctors burst in his room told him to be quiet got him out of bed themselves holding him up sat him on the scales and got his weight it was such a beautiful sight to see people with authority finally flexing on this motherfucker <laughs> 
The two doctors themselves were both six foot solid dudes, so dragging around a 45 kilogram manlet was easy for them. Anyway, they got his weight, put him back in bed, and within an hour they realised he was medically stable, and they sent him straight down to mental health with some much needed psychiatric assessment. Anyway, it was great for all of us nurses to just be able to get rid of him. He was a different kind of difficult. He was, he attacked you emotionally. He just wore you down because of how much shit he talked about that you didn't fucking care about. Like, we've seen the dirty patients, we're used to them. We've seen the sexual ones, we're kind of used to them. But this was a different type of warfare. Anyway, that's the story of Golem the Manlet. He's one of the most frustrating, difficult patients I've ever had to interact with. If you enjoy this video, feel free to share it around. I'll hopefully have more likes out soon. Thanks for listening.